What's going on everybody? It's your boy Bryce with The Real Squad and today we got a movie review. As you can see, it's Chippendale. Just dropped on Disney+. Plus. Man, let me start off by saying this. When I saw the trailer for this, I was excited. Um, I, I, I watched Chippendale younger, but it was more of my older brother's thing. I was more into like Darkwing Duck and like the superhero stuff at the time, but Darkwing Duck was my guy. Um, but yeah, with that being said, when I saw the trailer and what they were doing with it, it seemed like kind of, kind of like what they did with Roger Rabbit, saying that all these characters are actually real, have been real this whole time and just been living their lives. And so I thought that was a funny way to do Chip and Dale. And it was kind of random. I'm like, why would you pick Chip and Dale? And when I saw the movie, I understood why, um, they were able to do tons and tons of callbacks for like 90s kids or people who grew up in the 90s mostly because uh man it's heavy in there and a lot of the movies nowadays and shows haven't really been that great with uh, nostalgia or nostalgia bait but uh, like the matrix and um most recently the space jam 2 movie but man chip and dale was hilarious i had a real good time with this uh, this was directed by uh, Akiva Schaefer. Um, he wrote Pop Star, which is also starring Andy Samberg, who is playing Dale in here. Chip is played by John Mulaney. But I know Andy Samberg from uh, Palm Strings and Hot Rod. And I think it was, it was something else he was in a minute ago. It was a while back. But he's popular on, for like Saturday Night Live. He's like a comedic actor. And he also does voice acting too. And he's popular in the Hotel Transylvania uh, little franchise. But... um. Yeah, everybody that they had cast in here uh, that I knew of, like J.K. Simmons as Captain Patty or Putty, <laughs> uh, man, very, very funny with the stop motion clay animation. Um, and Peter, Plan Peter Pan, who was played by uh, Will Arnett, and Peter Pan is apparently the bad guy. And Will Arnett is so funny to me. He was, uh, I became a fan of him because of the Lego Batman movie. Yep. It had something to do with Batman, of course, but he was very, very funny in that. And I didn't actually even know it was Will Arnett until after the movie. So Peter Pan being like the bad guy is, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you now, as far as all the Disney movies, Peter Pan was my favorite. And they dogged my man out. Uh, <laughs> it worked. It was funny. Um, it wasn't overdone now i will say some of the animation was a little weird at times but i think it was it was because they were doing like multiple different types of animation all on top of realism so it was throwing me off every now and then but i feel like as far as the story went on it was cohesive and i like that they have <laughs> dale has went through the cgi uh surgery so if you're a cgi you look like up to date you're like you, you went through some type of uh plastic surgery basically <laughs> that's like the um the bbl for cartoons but um yeah man uh i definitely enjoyed myself with this one you have peter pan like i said he's the bad guy he is kidnapping cartoons and changing them ever so slightly so he can make bootleg movies off of them and make super big bucks off these bootleg cheap movies and just that premise alone is like that is so aware it's so funny um they dog my man flounder out <laughs> from little mermaid so funny they, they should actually show you a lot of characters that they try to change and make fake movies off of and i, I i'm sure i ran across a few of these like at walmart or target like the um five dollar bin box but it's stuff like that but that's basically the whole premise you got it we're, we're looking for uh monterey jack who was part of the uh, rescue rangers he has been kidnapped because he's been late on the cheese payments <laughs> bro it's just so funny and you have like the classic um when the cheese is super stinky you have like a little floating like stink hand that makes the ra the rats like float in the air as they're smelling it it's just stuff like that that gets me, man. I don't know why. But, yeah, it it, it was really funny throughout the whole movie. Like, I, I wasn't bored at all the entire time. But uh, I guess I'm trying to figure out why they put it on streaming. I don't really... Maybe it's because of the animation, I guess. 
uh, wasn't too crazy, but it was a great movie. I, I really enjoyed myself. And it could be the fact that Chippendale is not super known like that. They are not super known. But um, real quick, if you want to get out of here now, I'm going to talk about some of the cameos that popped up in here that I spotted. So, um, yeah, bounce if you don't want to hear these. Uh, Mighty Mouse. We had Samurai Jack. We had a Dragon Ball Z shout out. Batman, of course. Gumball. Doc McStuffins. Come on now. <laughs> Pogs, of course. Pogs is making a big comeback in uh, pop culture right now. And I already mentioned Flounder and Lumiere. Lumiere from uh, Beauty and the Beast, the candle guy. Played a pretty big part. And of course, the big, big, big elephant in the room of the movie, Ugly Sonic. Oh my gosh. Ugly Sonic was hilarious. I never expected to be happy to see Ugly Sonic. If you don't know who Ugly Sonic is, it is the first iteration of the Sonic the Hedgehog character they tried to drop with the first Sonic movie. Then the internet just went crazy and they had to redesign him to look like what we have now for Sonic 1 and 2. But since all these characters are real, basically, Ugly Sonic just lost the movie because nobody liked him in the trailer. And so it's hilarious what they do with him. I'm not going to talk about what they do, but he definitely has a decent sized role in this movie. I wonder if we're ever going to see him again because it was so funny and out of nowhere. That was my favorite cameo. I did not expect that to be a cameo and I didn't expect it to be my favorite, but shout out to Son Ugly Sonic, man. You did your thing, dog. <laughs> Sorry you lost the Sonic movie. Ah, oh, hilarious. But man, uh, you guys let me know in the comments below if you checked out Chip and Dale, if you liked it. Are you going to check it out? Did you see it as you were a kid or growing up? Have you ever heard of it? If you never heard of it, are you going to watch it? Let me know. But make sure y'all hit that like and that sub if you're new here. I appreciate it. If you noticed I hit 100 subs, I'm going to do a thank you video for all you guys that's showing your support for me. And it's really nice. Appreciate you guys. But yeah, man. It's been real with the real squad. I'm going to get out of here and prepare for some more reviews.